Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can create your custom input validator. So if the validators that Textual has built in don't satisfy your needs, you can create your own very easily. So what you'll do is, or you'll start by going to textual.validation and importing validator. And now you will subclass validator. So let's create a validator for long binary numbers. So I want my input field to only accept long binary numbers. So let's call it long binary validator and it subclasses validator. And the method you must override is validate. So this validate method accepts the input value that is a string and it will return a validation result, which will be either a success or a failure. And so what you do inside this method is implement your checks. So for example, I want the binary number to have at least 10 digits. So if it doesn't, let's do something like, if the length of the value is less than 10, I'm going to say that it's a failure. So we do self.failure. You return self.failure. And you say it failed because the input is too short, for example. So you can give it a reason for failing. And what am I doing? Missing return statement. No, it's here. Oh, right. It's the, sorry, it's the, the other case. So if the length is less than 10, it returns the self of failure. Then we can check if the characters used, let's see if it used any characters other than zero or one. So if it did, let's say that it failed, must only use digits zero, one. And if it passes both checks, we'll return self.success because it passed validation. So this is the way, this is what your validate method should look like. It's going to return failures if it failed. You can pass in a failure description. And if it's a success, you just return the success. And now this is ready to be used here. You go to your validators list and you can add your long binary validator. And we can see here there's already an event handler. So that we can check if validation <clears throat> sorry if validation succeeds and what messages we have here so let's do a let's run the application and now let's type something that is not a binary number if you press enter it says it's not oops sorry it says it's not valid because it must use the digits zero and one if I change this, let's do 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. If I press enter, it says it's not valid because the input is too short. But then if I type some more digits, then it's fine. It passes validation. So this is how you can create your custom validator. I will leave documentation links and link the link to the code, etc. in the description below. And if you have any questions, you can either leave a comment or you can join our Discord server and talk to us. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.